The anger is tangible. A day after the deadliest bomb in 16 years struck Kabul, people of the city screamed for answers and leadership change. Some even chanted death to Afghanistan's two leaders. A small but loud crowd gathered at the blast site of Kabul's truck bomb, refusing to leave until their demands for resignation of key government positions were met. For some protesters, it meant returning to the place where they'd searched in vain for loved ones amid dying, charred and torn bodies. I made 84 phone calls and he was not responding. I was so worried. He was not a person to miss one or two phone calls. All the time he was responding to calls quickly. When we came here, there was no one here. There were no police because our office was so close to the attack area, so we got here earlier. When we came here, I tried so much to find my friend, but I couldn't find him. Then I went to the hospitals and looked at the dead bodies in the freezers. I couldn't find any news about my friend, who was a piece of my heart. Many blame the international community who promised security and prosperity. Yet the yearly death toll of Afghans from conflict continues to rise. This year is set to break another civilian death record. The United States has signed a contract with Afghanistan. They have intelligence. They know who is behind this, but why are they not stopping them? Why are they killing us and the people of Afghanistan? The United States was declaring friendship with us. Is this friendship? Another protester, Kanishka Nasiri, criticized the United Nations for saying after the Kabul attack that bombs should not be used in civilian areas. Last night I uh, heard something that the United Nations has announced please do not explode these bombs in civil areas. Uh, what is this? What a nonsense is this? Please do not explode these bombs anywhere in the world. Why not, why not only in the civil areas? I think we have to stop uh, making uh, and selling these bombs all over in the world. Meanwhile, demonstrators remain at the site keeping vigil and searching for answers. However, with no answers forthcoming as to how something of this magnitude can be prevented